Hey there YouTubers, um, I'm going to be doing a video now on how to speed up your computer and help maintain it. Um, a lot of people out there uh, advertise uh, websites and various different programs that will help you speed up your computer and help you maintain it and, and do all these other things, but I'm going to show you guys a few programs that are free and, and some of them that get the job done that are not free. Um, but regardless, you can do this without the use of a lot of those other programs also. So I'm going to be throwing in a lot of different tips and I'll give and I'm going to give you guys a list of different things that you guys can do to help speed up your computer and not only that increase the longevity of your computer and keep it good and you know try to protect you from viruses and malware and all these other bad things that can harm your computer. So this is just going to be a video for you guys if you guys maybe need some help on speeding up or maintaining your computer. So let's begin. Okay, first step I have for you guys is know the difference between internet speed and computer speed. Um, people say, you know, my computer is so slow and they say that their computer is only slow when they're like browsing the internet or something. Um, there's your, Maybe both of them are slow but it could be your internet provider you have to recognize that you know internet speed and computer speed are two different things if your computer takes twenty minutes to start up and it's and your internet's slow also it could just be your computer maybe you know because it takes like twenty minutes to start up that's what i'm saying um, maybe it's just your computer and you don't want to have to like drop your internet provider and say it's their fault um, because your computer's slow, so you can't get an accurate like, you can't get an accurate idea of their how fast their internet is, because your computer is too slow to allow you to enjoy your experience while you're on the internet. If that makes sense. Um, not only that, you have to recognize that different uh, different internet browsers work better. A lot of people say that Internet Explorer is awful you know regardless if you have internet explorer 8 or you know or one of the internet explorers from 2004 um, regardless I've never ever liked internet explorer that's why I today am using Firefox because I love Firefox a lot of people like Google Chrome Google Chrome's good too I like Google Chrome um, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is come to speedtest.net and um, that will give you a, you know an accurate idea of what your you know how fast you can download megabytes per second how fast you can upload megabytes per second and that'll tell you your bandwidth and that'll tell you how fast your internet is as opposed to your computer speed if you have a if you have a fast um internet if you have a high internet uh, megabytes per second which this test will tell you and you're still it's taking a long time to browse the internet and you don't really know the difference you can kind of rule out that it's your internet provider for example if it says that you can download at like five megabytes per second that really is not bad um, mine said sixteen and i'm using comcast and it tells you what that average is based on other uh... other people around the united states or around the world whichever you choose and it says that uh, 16 megabytes per second is an A minus, and that is fantastic. Uh, 16 megabytes per second, that can download a song in about a fourth of a second. <laughs> so basically, it's a very, it's very fast. So I, if I can recommend that, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I'm just saying Comcast is excellent. They have really fast internet, and I guess I can kind of like bash on AT and T. I really don't like AT&T. They've always, to me, like been a corrupt company. They've always been promising really high internet speeds, and they haven't lived up to that. Basically, um, I I was uh, downloading uh, Mozilla Firefox for my dad once he finally got internet through AT&T one time, and I noticed that it took me at least 20 minutes to download the file. And as it was downloading, it said that it was downloading at like. 18 kilobytes a second, something ridiculous. That's ridiculously low. Now realize that I said kilobytes, not megabytes. There's a difference, a big one. And um, so it took me like 20 minutes to download the file. I called AT&T. 
and they said, okay, well, maybe it's your computer going slow or something. So they sent me to their website that was a speed test. So if they ever send you to their website that's a speed test, do not buy it for a second. They are lying to you. I went to their speed test, and it said that I was downloading stuff at about 4 megabytes per second, which is, very, which is good. And I went to another speed test just because I know that that's not right because I was downloading a, I was downloading Mozilla Firefox and it was downloading at like 18 kilobytes a second. It was ridiculous that they would be saying that I was downloading that fast. And I went to this speed test and it was saying that I was downloading at about 32 kilobytes a second. So I dropped AT&T after that. So if they ever tell you to go to their website, just don't do it. I mean, that that's completely unrelated to our spe uh, speed up the your computer thing. But I just wanted to get that out there just because AT&T is the worst. Basically, stay away from them. Go to speedtest.net. Check your internet speed. If your internet speed is um, as good, then awesome. Uh, you can roll that out. You don't have to drop your internet provider and um, maybe you're getting a good deal on your internet you, and you should be satisfied with it. Now we can move on to fixing your computer's problems, whatever is slowing down your computer. And uh, that will bring us to our next tip. Alright guys, next tip is use the right operating software. Now operating software is like Mac or Windows. Uh, to be more specific, Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 8, Windows Vista, those are examples of operating software. Now, different computers come preloaded with different software, and the reason that happens is because different operating software re uh, requires, um, like, it requires different things. They have different requirements. For example, this is why I'm asking you guys to check, check up on this, is because they have different requirements, so make sure you have the right operating software. Um, they have different requirements like one gigahertz processor if you want to be running windows 7 you're gonna have to meet this criteria because if you don't the operating system is gonna fail it's gonna be very slow on you and different things can happen so you want to check up on your operating s software and make sure that you meet the system requirements if not you may want to consider doing a downgrade and I like to tell everyone, don't use Windows Vista. I don't. I hated Windows Vista. I got viruses on it, and it was just very slow. It, and um, just in case you might need to know, it goes in order: Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. So, after, and we'll be back with our next tip. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, that is the. I have to end it here. Um, uh, there will be a part two, which I am uploading immediately after I uh, render this clip and get it all edited and stuff. Um, I have to split it up because YouTube has like a 10 minute limit on it and I don't want to like have to break it off through the middle. I might even have went over the limit already. I'm doing this in different segments. so uh, I really hope you guys will come back for part two. A lot of useful information is in part two. Don't think just I included the most important information in part one only and, the, and part two is extra. All of this information is really important and that's why I had to split it up into two different parts because there's a lot of information to give and there's a lot of different things you can do to, to increase the speed on your computer. So please come back for part two. I'm leaving an annotation. The link will be in the description. Um, that's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys in part two. Like I said, there's important information in there. Don't hesitate to come over there because there, I, not only, you know, the important information wasn't only in part one. There's a lot of important information that's going to be in part two, so check it out.